Boy, the Canadian woman, them salt, boy. When it comes to Jamaica love, you know, I've always heard a lot of stories from Canadian women, especially Canadian women that are either biracial, mixed, or from some other ethnicity, not black or white. They have horror stories to tell about Jamaican guys that they've met who's duped and swindled them and gave them some of the best sugar cane they've ever had in their life, no pun intended, while duping and swindling them at the same time. Pluck out them heart and them heartstring, and they still keep going to Jamaica. What good dung that's up? You know, shortly, not too long ago, a young lady named Jada Pauline Whitehead, she had traveled to Jamaica to celebrate her first anniversary with her husband in Jamaica, who is a fisherman. Boy, before you know it, the young lady was dead. Now, here we come with another story which is similar to that particular story. So shout out to McCoy's News, haven't contacted them in a while, but it says that Canadian National was killed in Jamaica. The Hanover police have launched an investigation into the shooting death of a female Canadian citizen who was killed at her rented apartment in Lucy, Hanover on Wednesday. That's Westmoreland side, right? She had been identified as 52-year-old April Sheena Sheila Labine. And she is from New York or North York in Ontario, Canada. I don't know. If somebody hears this story and you know 52-year-old April Sheena Labine from North York in Ontario, Canada, and you would like to call in and tell her story or give us some more insight, please feel free to contact us at SoFloTV, that's S-O-U-F-L-O-T-V at gmail.com or call us at 1-806-587-8953 and that number you are calling free on WhatsApp. Now the reports indicate that the Canadian woman had arrived in Jamaica late 2023, last year, and she was there to be with her Jamaican man. Again, she was staying at a rented apartment in a place called Elgin Town in Lucy, Elgin Town in Lucy in Hanover, and she was staying with her Jamaican boyfriend. It is reported that on Tuesday night, that particular night, she was overheard arguing with her boyfriend. The neighbors told police they heard a big argument over there. They were getting into it. You know, argument gets sour between lovers. But the argument was followed by gunshots from the apartment and then silence. The argument stopped. A report was filed with the police the following day on Wednesday morning and following a search of the apartment by Jamaica's local law enforcement officials, the Canadian woman Labine was found dead, lying in a pool of blood with a gunshot wound to her head. Her boyfriend at the time had gone on the run. And they were searching for him, trying to find out who this guy is, what might have caused this. Was it self-defense? Where did he go? Why is he on the run? Well, lo and behold, shout out to the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Doing their due diligence, the Hanover police have now confirmed that a man named Eric Collins, a Trelawney man, he was the one who was being sought in connection with the shooting death of his Canadian girlfriend at her rented apartment in Lucy Hanover that particular day. He had been apprehended and he is now being charged with murder. The accused is 52-year-old Eric Collins, also known as Steve. And he was wanted for murder for the 52-year-old April Sheila Labine, his girlfriend from North York, Ontario, Canada. Well, 
There's no age difference here, people. He's 52. She's 52. I don't know if she got lulled into this. I don't know if she got sweet-talked into this. But I know that there are a lot of foreign women who, especially when they hit like middle age, they start thinking of, ah, oh, let me see how the rest of my life is going to go. It would be nice to fall in love with a Jamaican man, Chang Bak Man, and sail off into the sunset on this beautiful tropical island and be in love. I don't know. They think that, right? So they come looking. Plus, the world is much smaller nowadays because you have social media. So people could easily scroll Facebook and jump in somebody's DM and take your chances and see where it goes, you know. According to reports, the Canadian woman had arrived on the island last year and she was residing at a rented apartment. Again, argument broke out, gunshots were heard. He disappeared. She was found the next morning, lying in a pool of blood. Police goes for a search, and they find him. He surrendered to police in Kingston over the weekend, and he was formally charged the Monday morning after. Now, crazy. Imagine, if you know Jamaica, you know how far Hanover is from Kingston. If you know Jamaica, you know how far Lucy is from Kingston. If you know Jamaica, you know how far Westmoreland is from Kingston. So it's not a guess to say that he was on the run. The police was hot on his trail though. So he run into the police and he surrenders to the police in Kingston, not in the area where he did the murder. Shout out to those women who still believe that they can just travel the world and find a man from some place and... Things will be A-OK -okay and kindred spirits will meet and sparks will fly and love will last forever. Y'all better be careful. You better be careful. Let me tell you something. First of all, right, a lot of men think of you like this. They don't have any men where she's from. None of the men where she's from wanted her. How she end up over Yasa. And then a lot of these foreign women... They have a little bit more money than the average Jamaican guy that they're seeking. Because honestly, Jamaican guys that, that have money already and have the capacity, capability to travel overseas, they don't go looking like that, right? It is the ones who haven't flown out yet or fly out already and get caught up in something and trying to fly out again. Or somebody who is digging a bank book and looking for a sponsor, if you know what I mean. You fly in, I give you good dick, we eat good food, we have fun, you spend some money, but then you go back to Canada. Don't stay here and try to lock me down in no apartment talking about we're going to be husband and wife because that's not what I want from you. And worse, a lot of these men is gallus, my friend, and they have their multiple women on the island of Jamaica, plus you're sending in your Canadian money and your british money and your u.s dollars he can stretch that and make it go a long way so he have somebody there who he can see monday to friday and then take two days off to rest or go see another gal while you you're overseas you can't even pop up to say let me see if he's cheating or not so when you land on the island don't think you come to stop anything or to take over anything if you're lucky and you find one of those men who will drop everything for you, or if you're lucky and you find one of those men who been faithful the whole time, then you're just lucky. I would even add blessed. But for the women who are all 45, 52, them kind of ages, and you coming through, and you come into lock shop, you can't go here. You can't go there. Who's that you're talking to? I don't like that girl stop talk to her. I don't like that woman and the way she looks at you. I don't like this. I'll be your head of your come cause, man. Now, let's speak to the men. Because this ain't the first Jamaican man. One did it last year and one did it this year. The one that did it last year was a fisherman. 
I don't know what the profession is of the individual or his education level that did it this year. But both women were from Canada. So, to the man them now, some of y'all just need to be alone. Go live with a tree. Go hug up a tree. Because how do you have an argument with a woman who is not even from the island and it ends up you putting a gunshot in her head? You could walk out on that woman, leave her, go to the other side of the city, go to the other side of the country, the island for that matter, and force that woman to go back to wherever she came from, Canada, England, wherever. Or just don't deal with her again. And if she wants to stay in Jamaica and go look at a man, then she can go do that too. But y'all, you stay there and you beat these women. You control these women. These women don't come here for you to beat them and control them. And there is so much that you can do to your benefit once you start dealing with one of these women and get them, you know, like get into their trust. Get them to trust you that you're not going to hurt them or harm them. Before you know it, you could have your legal papers to travel from where you are actually traveling back and forth. Even if you don't like Canada, it's a start. You get a visa, you travel back and forth. You don't know. You could go to Canada sometimes, make some money, come back to Jamaica. You, you know what I'm saying? And then you can get other visas from there. I already have my Canadian visa. More than likely, you can travel from Canada to someplace else. Some people travel from Canada into the U.S. And it's easier for them to go that route than for them to get one to go from Jamaica into the U.S. I'm just giving you ideas. But killing the woman, though. Oh, man. And yes, this does not look good on Jamaica because... When they put it in the news overseas, it's going to be Canadian citizen visits Jamaica and is murdered. That's it. And now you're going to have these travel advisories. And you're going to have all these other people saying, oh my God, I'm not going to Jamaica. They just killed another Canadian woman there. A lot of people don't really look into the background of the stories. A lot of people think that these women who are coming from Canada, getting killed in Jamaica, they are randomly getting killed. I want it to be understood that none of these are random killings. Yes, they are bad. Anywhere in any country, this situation is bad. This is wrong. It shouldn't have been done, but it is done. But I want everybody to understand that it's done by people who were intimately involved with the individuals. The Canadian woman who got killed last year, she was married, fully married to her husband. She was waiting for his paperwork to be worked out so she can bring him to Canada and live a joyful, happy life and start building their family. One argument happened between them in Jamaica and she ends up dead with head concussions. Same thing for this woman. This is her boyfriend or man that she was living with. Has a good enough relationship to think I want to leave my life in Canada and go stay with my baby in Jamaica rent an apartment in her name and do all that. So this isn't a random thing. It's people associated to people. However, it's still bad, right? I don't know what else to tell these foreign women. You know, a lot of these women think that there are few dollars that they bring in because they see the difference in the dollar amount. And a lot of them, they get controlling because they're the ones that are giving him money. Well, ladies, I want to tell you, sir, if you didn't book up a Jamaican that is highly intelligent and that is somewhat educated beyond just secondary school level, high school level, and someone who knows how to converse, have a conversation find solutions to problems. If you didn't lock out and get one of those, you'll probably get one of the crabby one them. 
you probably got one of the ones them who will grab you up and choke you soon. You probably got one of the ones who will slap the taste out your mouth soon. I know some of y'all like that. Choke me, slap me, daddy. But I'm guessing you won't like it after it gets past that stage. Be careful, man. Know what y'all are doing. My condolences goes out to this woman's family. I'm sure she didn't plan for her death to be this way. A gunshot to the head in Jamaica in a rented apartment by the person who she thought she was in love with. Damn. Leave your comments in the comment section below. Are you one of these women that live overseas that are looking at vetting, dating, long distance dating, goes and visits? You have a Caribbean man who hasn't been to your country yet, whether you are in the US, UK, Canada, wherever, but you're hoping to bring him there with you, but you go to Jamaica and visit every now and then and you stay with him. Are you one of these women? Or have you done this before? Go to Jamaica, meet a man, marry them, bring him overseas. What happened? I need to hear y'all's stories in the comment section below. I'll catch y'all on the next video. It's SoFlo TV. I'm out. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.